Hello, welcome to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Last week I was teaching several classes in advanced techniques for Excel and I shared several keyboard and mouse click shortcuts. A few students went, ooh, I enjoy it when a student has a discovery, so let me share a couple of aha moments with you. In this worksheet we have a couple of data sets. When I want to quickly select all of the cells in a contiguous range, use the keyboard shortcut Control A. So in any set of data with contiguous information, Control A will select all of the cells that actually have an input in it. So in this case, Control A selects that range. For example, I want to copy it, Control C to place it on the clipboard, and then make a copy of that data set that is in horizontal rather than vertical orientation. Let's use Paste Special Transpose to make that copy of the data that now is in horizontal. Now notice that we have several of the cells or several of the columns that are just not wide enough to reveal the data. We can use Control A twice. Control A first to select the contiguous data. Control A a second time to now select every cell in the worksheet that contains data or is blank. And now to easily or quickly widen or auto fit all the columns just double click between any one of the column letters and every column has been auto fit to reveal the data great time saver okay let's look at this challenge again imagine that this data set was a much larger several thousand rows and a couple of hundred columns when we want to find the end of our data set in other words where we encounter our first blank row and blank column we can use control end the end key to take us to the bottom of our data set to return to the top control home but what if we want to find cells going down in a column that contain blanks? Having blank cells in a column of numbers can reveal uh, faulty data. So here's a great mouse shortcut to find the first blank cell, in this case going down in a column. With one active cell in the column selected, position your mouse at the bottom of that active cell. Notice how the mouse pointer has changed to four arrowed headers and double click and it takes us to the last cell that contains data so we can easily spot our blanks. Let's go over here in this column with my mouse selected with the active cell selected move my mouse to the bottom of that active cell in the direction that I want to find a blank double click and there you go this will work across rows in this case with an active cell selected move the mouse point so that's to the right in other words moving across the row double click and there's the last cell in that row that contains data so I could fill in my blanks okay let's look at another challenge of course remember control a selects any contiguous grouping but in this case case let's say that I just wanted to select the cells that contain numbers so here's what I can do select the top cell and use the keyboard shortcut control shift down arrow so now I've selected all of the cells in this data set or going down in the column and I could once this data set is selected if I did control shift right arrow I now have all of my numbers selected for example I want to apply a different format to that well let's use control Z to undo that Okay, finally, when we have created a formula and we want to copy that down, rather than using the auto fill and going down and running the possibility that we overshoot the range, which happens frequently, what we can do is move our mouse as though we were going to auto fill it, in other words, to the lower right corner when it becomes that little black cross, double click and then all of our formulas are copied down going down in the column. That's a great time saver. And to review, if I wanted to undo it, of course I could use Control Z, but let's select those cells that I just copied down. Control Shift down arrow, click delete, and there you go. I have selected those cells to undo. All right, there you have a couple of tips and time savers. We'll see you in the next edition.